I'll never forget the time I was working as a waitress in a local bar and I was coming from the patio back to inside to put all my orders in and everything and I hear a table off to my left say something along the lines of see you can tell she's not vegan because she looks healthy and I got to go over to their table and say actually Hi there Audi Builders and welcome back to the Autistic Bodybuilding channel. Today we're going to talk about veganism and thinness. So a hot question I hear a lot in the vegan community or amongst meat eaters who are just kind of curious about vegans is aren't vegans super thin? And they can be. In the early days of the vegan movement in the 80s and 90s, vegans just didn't have as good of an understanding about diet as they do now. And they didn't necessarily replace certain vitamins, certain proteins, things like that, that modern vegans know they have to. So as a result, the stereotype that vegans are really thin and kind of malnourished started to kind of arise. So all that said, the question then becomes, will you have to eat more on a vegan diet so that you won't become one of those thin, unhealthy vegans? And the answer is probably. It's a lot easier to get more calories, healthy calories, clean calories as an omnivore than it is to get them as a vegan. So a good example would be a really common bodybuilder meal, which is literally just plain chicken, rice, and broccoli. I know it sounds awful, but if you're a bodybuilder, you know, food becomes, it's fuel at a certain point. It's not for taste anymore. It's, I digress. <laughs> But anyways, chicken, rice, and broccoli as a meal has about 540 calories. Now for comparison, if you were to eat tofu, rice, and broccoli with all the exact same proportions, you would only be getting about 350 calories. So you're losing about 200 calories there. And unfortunately, and I hate to add to this, I know vegans hate it when people are like, where do you get your protein? But let's be honest, a lot of those calories that you're losing between the omnivore and the vegan meal is protein. That's just the truth of it. Now that doesn't mean that vegans don't get enough protein, but what it does mean is that we have to think a little bit more about where we're getting our protein. It also means we might have to eat three meals for every two meals that an omnivore eats. So this is usually the point where people start to wonder, well, how exactly are there such thing as vegan bodybuilders? Basically, in order to be a vegan bodybuilder, you just have to have enough time, energy, and resources to be able to balance your diet correctly, make sure you get enough protein, and make sure that you eat that extra meal for every two meals that an omnivore eats. Now moving on from bodybuilder diets and clean eating, you can get super high calorie meals the way any omnivore does by just eating a ton of junk food. You can eat Beyond Burgers with huge baskets of fries every single day and get to that 3,000 calories a day with just three meals if you really wanted to just eat gross stuff all the time. But that said, if a meat eater did that, they would probably actually be eating double what you would be getting. So that's good news, right? If you're vegan, you can eat a ton of junk food and probably not eat as many calories as would put you overweight or would put you into a bad category or whatever, but you're still not getting good calories, right? You're still, that might be 3000 calories, but it's 3000 calories of junk. So not necessarily the best idea, but it can be done. So now that you've heard me go on and on about veganism and thinness, you're probably thinking, well, wow, veganism sounds like a great way to lose weight. And it can be, but I personally don't think that's a good reason to go vegan. When you go vegan just to lose weight, you really are losing the meaning behind veganism and you're kind of reducing a vegan lifestyle to something more akin to a fad diet. And I think that's just a really slippery slope because 
Veganism is a massive lifestyle shift, and I don't think it should be reduced to something like a fad diet because it affects every area of your life. It even affects your interactions with other people. And then of course, there's just a simple fact that fad diets tend to not work because they don't address the underlying issues, relationship that the person has with food that's causing an eating disorder or any kind of overeating or whatever in the first place. And going back to my point about vegans in the 80s and 90s, a lot of people who aren't taking the time to really examine their relationship with food and understand food a little bit better, they're gonna be a lot less likely as well to actually learn about what kind of nutrients and things they're gonna have to replace if they do switch to a vegan diet, which of course is going to make them less healthy as well. So a much better approach if you are thinking about going vegan to lose weight is to actually deal with your relationship with food first. Go see a nutritionist, go see a counselor, go see a personal trainer, anyone who's going to help you address your kind of feelings about food and the way that you're thinking about it and what some of your blockages behind eating certain things and what some of your habits behind eating other things. These are all very important things to address if you're trying to lose weight or gain weight for that matter, but in this video we're talking about thinness, right? And then of course, like I just mentioned, like nutrition, his counselors, all these things that cost money, right? If you can't afford that or you don't have access to that or your insurance doesn't allow for that or what have you, there's always tons of resources on YouTube from other trainers like me trying to help people with their relationships with food. There's tons of podcasts on the subject. There's fantastic podcasts out there about undoing your toxic thoughts that might have come from diet culture or, you know, fashion culture, things like that. But don't get overwhelmed by it. Take your time. Ask questions of anybody who will answer and focus on making very small changes gradually over time. Don't try to change your whole life overnight because that doesn't work for anybody regardless of the goal. I mean, maybe it will for some people, but it usually doesn't work that way. So I don't wanna to be totally discouraging. Absolutely anybody can be vegan, but that doesn't mean it's right for everybody. And I just want to explore some of those nuances and situations where it might not be right and it might be right. And you know, maybe it's right for you, but just not right now. And that's totally okay. I think it's really important to have a good understanding of nutrition before making such a profound shift to veganism so that you don't have any unwanted weight loss. So we've just addressed veganism and thinness. Next week we will address veganism and fatness. So please, please subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to know when that video comes out. And until then, stay fit and flappy.